What's going on guys, Abraham here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to take your online and in-person services to the next level with the use of video announcements. In our last video, I showed you guys how you can take your online services and online videos to the next level with the use of lower thirds and custom graphics. Now with this video, I wanna show you how you can use pre-recorded video announcements to get the same effect and take your videos to the next level. I remember the first time that I went to a big church, a big modern church. I grew up in a small church, so the first time that I went to a big modern church, the thing that stay, stuck with me the most and impacted me the most was the fact that this church used pre-recorded video announcements. Now the reason this stuck with me the most I think is because I realized how much these churches put into their videos and into their productions so that the people that are there can get the best experience possible. Now I believe that you can do this even if you don't have a big church, even if you're a small local church in your community, you can also apply these same techniques to get the same effect and produce the best quality for your members and for the people that show up at your church on any Sunday or throughout the week. So in today's video I want to show you guys how you can make video announcements pre recorded them and use them either during your online stream or in-person services. So let's jump over here to the computer and on this side what we're going to do is open up uh, Final Cut. Now you don't have to have Final Cut. It can be with Adobe Premiere. You can use any other editing, video editing software. In this case what I have is Final Cut so that's what I'm going to use. So if you can see here I already have a project that's open here and I have a couple things. I have um, our person that is doing the announcements, so that is talking about the announcements. She actually happens to be my wife, so yes, uh, we have her here. I also have a couple slides. So I have this slide that says uh, Sundays, um, Discovery Kids Church Online. This one that talks about what's going on on Tuesdays. This one that talks about youth group. This one that says uh, SIC Kids Club Online Fridays at 4 p.m. Intercessory Prayer on Saturdays and uh, Rooted in the Word uh, Zoom Bible study on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. So what I did before this video was I created all of these graphics in Photoshop and I made sure that each one of these was 1920 by 1080. The reason for this is because that's what we stream in. So any graphic that you want to cover the whole screen, make sure that it's the same size, canvas size as whatever you stream in. So again, we have here uh, all of these graphics here. I also have a um, uh, a little audio effect that I'm going to be using here. It's a little swoosh. And then I also have a background music uh, for this video. Well, something that's very important for videos that you present either online or in person is that you want to make sure that they're not dry. So uh, when I talk about dry, I mean, uh, whether you're talking about audio, it's that it's not just whoever's speaking's voice. You, also, you always kind of want to have a little bit of background uh, music or background audio. Make sure it doesn't overpower the person speaking, but it is important to have some sort of background music, background audio. And the other the other thing that I would recommend is also in terms of the graphics or the videos, make sure that it's never just one steady shot the whole video. You know, there's no point in pre-recording somebody just talking, you know, for a minute or, or 30 seconds or whatever it may be, but just talking straight at the camera with nothing going on. You want to make sure that there's constantly stuff going on. That's why I have created the graphics that we have right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to import this video of my wife giving our online announcements. And the other thing uh, that actually I forgot to mention that I have is this little intro video here. So this intro video looks like this. I'm going to play. Cool. And then it kind of goes into the next video, uh, which we'll make sure that we either fade it or that we do a transition so that they it's not just from video to video. And obviously, we also have the background music here. Now, another thing that I want to mention is whenever you record uh, videos like this for your church, there's, you know, there's not one right way of doing this. You can do this outside. You can do this indoors. In our case, what we decided to do is um, I set up uh, a ring light and I put my camera right in the middle of the ring light and I had my wife stand you know just a couple feet away from the camera to make sure that it, it wasn't a full body uh, more of a, a mid body shot and then what I did is I turned down the lights in the sanctuary all the way down so that it was just pitch black and I turned on the ring light obviously and then I also uh, added some colors in the background um, on the stage so I, I made sure that it was all one solid color in the background so you can kind of see that it's the stage but because I'm using a 50 millimeter lens to film her 
her, you can't really, you know, make out what's going on in the background. And I think this is important because wh wherever it is that you're filming this, you want to make sure that, you know, you're not looking at, for example, your living room and, and you don't want people seeing, you know, just stuff laying around in your living room or anything. You want to make sure that it's, it looks as professional as possible. Again, it doesn't have to be done exactly this way, but these are just some tips that I would recommend. I'd recommend that you have a dedicated, you know, light source like I have here with this ring light directly at my wife. Uh, so she is the center of attention and the background's kind of just dimmed down. You know, there's nothing really exciting going on in the background other than just some, some color to give it some effect. Now, the other thing um, that is very important when you're doing this is you want to make sure that you record quality audio, okay? So this is actually something that I did not do during this recording. Uh, normally, I would have used this mic or, or some sort of other shotgun mic to record her, you know, from above. Um, and that way you get really crisp and clear audio. Unfortunately, I ended up forgetting the mic. So what I, I had to make do with what I had. So I use a Rode mic that's sitting on top of my camera. And basically, she's speaking directly to that. So I just made sure there was nothing going on in the background. There's no noise. Um, obviously, this isn't the the, you know, ideal situation because these kind of mics pick up, uh, you know, some buzz in the background or if you have hum in the room, it picks all of that stuff up and, you know, it, it's not the most pleasant thing. So you, you, you might have to do a little bit of post-production editing, which I'm actually going to do in this video. Uh, and um, those are the two main things that I recommend that you do before and, and you make sure that you have before you actually start recording. So let's head back here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop up uh, this video into all the places that it needs to be chopped up. I'm going to come back because, you know, we we don't need to go through all of that. I'm going to come back once it's all chopped up and then we'll continue from there. Okay, so now we have everything here cut up. Finally, I, you know, I finished cutting everything up. So now what I have is basically I have the intro and I have each clip of her talking about every specific announcement that's going on throughout the week. Um, and what I need to do is make sure that we have transitions between everything. So once you have everything cut up, uh, what you want to do is you want to make sure that everything flows smoothly. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to go into transitions and we're going to look for... Uh, movement. So I, I like to use this one here that's called slide. The reason that I like to use it is because I think dissolves have a time and a purpose, but sometimes it can look a little cheesy. So slides, I think, look a little, a little bit more cool, a little bit more modern. So uh, basically, I'm going to put that here. I'm going to make it smaller so it looks like this. And then we have her speaking, right? So what you want to make sure, another thing, another tip is that when you're recording this, let's say you have five announcements, right? So you have the intro plus five announcements. So total of six things. What you want to make sure is that before every single thing that's being spoken or announced, that whoever's doing the announcements, you want to tell them to wait three seconds. I always tell them this, wait three seconds, smile. And then once you count three seconds in your head, continue doing the announcement. The reason for this is because in post-production, you need to be able to have the space to cut everything up in order to do these transitions. Otherwise, if they continue to speak without stopping, it's going to be really weird and the cut's going to look like you had to make the cut as opposed to something that you know you did on purpose and that you intended to do that way. So I make sure that at the end of each thing, she just stays and smiles. And then at the beginning of each one, she also smiles. Now on these ones, um, I'm going to add a graphic on top. So there's no need for her to you know smile or anything like that because I know when I was filming this that I just needed her audio. We're actually going to be adding graphics. So let's continue into this. Uh, the other thing that I did is I took that sound, the little swoosh sound um, that uh, I have here and I added it right under where this uh, transition happens. So that way the video, when it moves, you also hear a swoosh, right? So let, let's play it. And then it looks natural, right? So Good now morning, she continues church. to speak here. I hope you're enjoying today's service. Here's what we got going on this week at Sunnyvale. Perfect. So now it looks good. And now what we'll do is we're gonna take this, holding option down, moving this over to make an exact replica of it. Then I'm gonna take the exact same thing with the sound and place it underneath. So now I make sure that this lines up, that looks pretty good, and the transition will now look like this. Sunny though. On sun. Perfect. Okay, so now with this setup, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna start replacing each uh, announcement that she's gonna be speaking about with the corresponding graphic. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Sunday graphic that I have here, I'm gonna expand it over the size just so that I make sure it's the exact same length of the clip. Once I have that done, I'll right click and then I will click on detach audio. The reason that we detach the audio is because we wanna keep the audio of her speaking, we just don't wanna see her you know, on footage because we have this graphic. So then I take this graphic, I place it 
right here. I delete this because I, oops, we'll undo that. And we'll first move the audio to it so it's lined up with that. Then we'll delete the video. So now we just have the graphic. There's no reason in having, you know, otherwise your computer's just gonna go into overload. There's no reason in having the graphic, the video, and the audio. We just need the graphic on the audio. So now when we move this uh, transition over again, holding option, and move this over again, holding option, we'll zoom in, make sure that everything lines up. We want that right in the middle, and zoom back out. And now we have this. Oh God. On Sunday. Now, obviously, when we're playing it um, and it's not fully rendered, you're going to see that it loses a little bit of quality. But once I pause it, you can see that the quality comes back. So we have this. Oh God. On Sunday. And now we have the graphic that I created. So I'm gonna go through and add all of these graphics. Again, there's no point in you seeing me do this live, you know, for 10 minutes to do this. So I'm just gonna go ahead, add all of these graphics, and then we'll come back. Okay, so now everything is finally in its place. It's exactly where it needs to be. All the audio is matched up and all the, you know, the transitions are where they're supposed to be. The last thing I need to do is just add a fade to color so that when she ends the video, it just fades to black. So I'm gonna expand on this and make sure that it kind of lines up right there. That should be okay. So let's, let's see right there. Let's see what it looks like. You wonderful week. God bless you. Perfect, and then the video ends there. Okay, awesome. So now what we have is basically we have the intro video here, which by the way, um, obviously I, I'm not gonna go into how to make this specific intro video because that would be a whole separate video on its own, but you can either have an intro video or not have one, doesn't really matter. Um, we just have one so that way it's consistent every single Sunday. Uh, and then after that we have each one of here, these announcements, I have replaced the graphics um, on top of, uh, or in place of every single announcement that she gave. And then at the end we have the here. So the final product looks something like this. I'm going to play it for you from the beginning. Here we go. Good morning, church. I hope you're enjoying today's service. Here's what we got going on this week at Sunnyvale. On Sundays, we will have service online at 10 a.m. Come join us to worship and listen to the powerful Word of God. On Sundays, we also have our Discovery Kids online church from 9.30 a.m. and on. Tuesdays, Girls Ministries stars meet at 4.30 p.m., Daisies meet at 5.30 p.m., and Royal Rangers meet at 6.30 p.m. Wednesdays, we have youth group online at 5 p.m. and the Rooted in the Word Zoom Bible study at 7 p.m. On Thursdays, Girls Ministries Prims meet at 6 p.m. and Royal Rangers meet at 6.45 p.m. Fridays, we have our Kids Club online at 4 p.m. And finally, on Saturdays, intercessory prayer starts at 9 a.m. On behalf of everybody here at Sunnyvale International Church, we hope you have a wonderful week. God bless you. And that's basically it. So I hope that you learned something from this video. I hope that you were able to take a couple tips or tricks from this video and that you can apply it at your local church today. That's what this whole channel is about, learning things together and that we can implement today at our local churches. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I really would appreciate it if you could leave a comment, if you could rate this video and if you could subscribe as we will be releasing more and more videos in the near future. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, my name is Abraham Zuniga from Church Combos. Peace.